When did you meet Tammy? Uh, I met Tammy around uh, 2009, um, so approximately 11, 12 years. It's hard to count. You know. um, some of my experiences that I've had with, uh, with Tammy along the way um, has, has been astronomical, uh, to say the least. Uh, some of the experiences, uh, I would say that um, the biggest one of all uh, would be Halloween night, of all nights, all Hallow's Eve. I met Tammy, it's been about seven years ago. We first met on Facebook, um, became close, and actually been trying to get her out to Texas for about three years, and I finally got her here three years later, and she brought the haunt with her. Um, clock flying off the wall, literally flying off the wall. Um, a lot of people say, said that they didn't believe that, um, but me being a skeptic, me being a uh, person in every kind of investigation, paranormal investigation, wants to debunk things and doesn't really believe as much as other people do, um, experienced something that night that uh, will be with me forever. I feel like all the houses that she's lived in uh, has some sort of uh, vibe to it that uh, brings paranormal activity off the charts. Um, so those are some of my experiences. I had this feeling she was producing what was going on. Um, so if she was stressed out or she had an emotional day, there would be more poltergeist activity in her home. Um, I think a lot of it is in the houses themselves, but also is uh, mainly within her and um, what has surrounded her uh, over the years. That um, things moving across the counter, things being thrown, doors opening, um, shadows coming across the counters and across the hallway. It's I, I do believe that that is part of the connection that it is um, part of Tammy's energy and kinetically she can move things. Be a telekinesis kind of thing, maybe. With Tammy, I think it's a little bit of both. I think we have an attachment, um, but I also think that there are intelligent spirits inside her home that were in the home she's in now. Because I know she's had them in previous locations, but I do know with what I have seen and heard and been through, it's also going on in the house. I mean, it's it's definitely intelligent. Uh, I would say the energy was very intense, um, off the charts. Uh, um, that uh, clock flying off the wall it brought me to tears. Um, you, know, you, you might see that video um, in this documentary uh, at some point. Uh, hopefully it makes it, but um, you will see me uh, drenched in tears from the makeup off of my, uh, from my costume. And seeing the shadow man, the dark shadow, dark shadow man, up on the walkway on her second floor, there is a, a staircase that winds and goes upstairs. And up there, there is three windows in there. And as we opened the front door, we both looked up, and he was standing right there. say one of the very first investigations that I did with Tammy and team that I was with part, part of that we were part of previously um, I've had static charges go up my body uh, we were watching uh, one of Tammy's episodes on uh, it was paranormal caught on camera and there's a huge chandelier in the entryway that for no reason just starts swaying back and forth um, another instance is a chandelier in the dining room also swaying back and forth for no reason whatsoever. And 
even in the reenactment, the spirit came through and it reaches out and grabs her. And on top of that, there's one white shadow man that I know has been at her California location, her Texas location, and has also come to my house and then gone back to her house. 